Hello, my name is Joseph Fiala with The Light Clinic, and today we're going to be doing a meditation to help with pain. So, pain. It's a tricky thing. We always have it from time to time. It's, it's part of being alive, is having some pains here and there. But I want to talk about the physiology of pain just a little bit and then do some meditation techniques to help to mitigate pain, to help to reduce our sensation of it, to help put us in control of it, at least to some extent. There are plenty of research studies that do show meditation helps tremendously on reducing pain, just meditation alone. Um, they have tests where you would put your hand over um, a specific hot plate that was meant to not burn you but get hot enough that it sends off triggers as if your body's getting burned and people that meditate regularly had a much higher tolerance for that before they even noticed it as something that they would indicate is pain so there so there is a part of pain that is somewhat subjective uh, that means that if we are in a very stressed state of mind if we're angry or upset and then one little thing happens somebody grazes against you and you're just angry and you're, <laughs> you're done with it and you can be like ah that hurts so much and you make can it can feel like it did hurt a lot and that that is real but it's also subjective and if we are in a more centered calm place in our body we are able to deal with things a lot more fully, a lot more without losing ourself, and and not to make things um, an overreaction. We're, we don't we we are able to see things more as they are, as opposed to feeling them accentuated and, and heightened, which happens a lot, especially in chronic pain, because you've been in pain for quite a while, and so you start to feel this tension around everything you start to feel stress and anxiety with it and then every little thing that comes in feels painful it feels like too much feels like how can I handle this so we want to start working with how we can handle that so the technique that I really like to do to start working with with pain is to start working with stimulation first so if we take our hand, this usually it'll work on your hand, if not we can find another place, but if we take our hand, usually in the center of your palm, you're going to be able to find a place that's, that's sore. You might have to relax your hand, and you might have to dig in a little bit hard, but right in the center of your palm, there should be a place that feels really kind of tender. Um, and don't dig too hard. If it hurts, you know, that's too much. We're just trying to feel that stimulation. Um, and but when you're right on top of it, it's something that if you press harder, it's really strong stimulation. You can let go of it; it's less stimulation. So you're kind of in control of how much stimulation you do there. So see if you can dig around. And if you if you curve your palm, usually it's right in that center hole of the palm. If you kind of curve your hand there, usually right in there, you'll feel something. And when you get in there, you'll find a nice tender point. Then you can do some circles with your thumb, like circling your thumb, to start to open it up as if it's a, a point that you're trying to open and spread out, as if you get in the center of it and can spread it out and open it up a little bit. So this is going to be our point, and we've got one on both sides. We're going to use this as our helper, as our helper, our teaching aid for starting to deal with our pain. Um, so the practice is, is this. We're going to find our breath. We're going to get in a place where we feel our breath and we feel we're in a place where we are centered, calm, and our breath is moving, our body is relaxed. And then we're going to start applying some stimulation ourselves and we're going to try to pay attention to our breath. Instead of paying attention to the stimulation, we're going to try and pay attention to our breath. And, and what we're looking for is, is to not disturb our breath. Usually if a pain comes in, one of the first things that disturbs is your breath. It'll shorten your breath, it'll you'll make you hold your breath, something will happen. You might not notice it because it all happens so fast, but that's one of the first physiologic reactions is it's going to stop your breath. So if we can start to break that mental 
connection between pain and shortened breathing. If we can stay in a place where we can re keep a relaxed breath, then you have stimulation come in, but what it's doing in your brain is stimulation comes up to your brain and it's like, should I freak out about this? And then your breath is calm, which triggers your brain, no, I'm safe. So your breath is calm and easy, and so stimulation comes in, it, it asks a question in your brain, is this too much? Your breath is easy and calm, so your brain replies, nope, this is fine. So then what you do is you just, then you just feel this as stimulation more than feeling it as pain, if that makes sense. We're going to work with it and you'll see what that means. Okay, so let's find our breath first. So rest your eyes, come inside your body, feel your weight on the seat below you. Let's take a nice big cleansing breath and sigh it out. Just taking a moment to be inside our body. Good. And we're turning our awareness inward, seeing what's happening inside our body. As you inhale, that breath sips in through your nose, curves down, travels down the length of your spine to your lower belly fills up that lower belly and as you exhale it just comes right back out breathing naturally breathing easily and watching that lower belly expand contract rise and fall And just take a minute to watch your breath. We're in an observer phase here. We're, we're just observing our breath as if we're on the banks of a river and we're just watching the river go by. We're just watching our breath. And the inhales and exhales come and go. but we're just enjoying the day no matter what. And find your inner smile. So if you're smiling on the inside, there can be a little bit of facial muscles really responding to the smile, but mostly it's just internal. It's just a feeling like you're telling your body everything's okay. Everything's in its right place. I'm just smiling on the inside, smiling from your heart, directing your smile inside yourself. Okay, and we're watching this breath as it moves gently in and out. And keep your attention on your breath. And the first challenge is to keep your breathing in this nice relaxed place as you lift your arms. Your arms lift up, but you're watching your breath, not your arms. You bring your left thumb into the center of your right palm. Don't start pressing yet. Just bring it there and watch your breath, not disturbing your breath. Sometimes this will have already been a big challenge. We, our brain may have come in thinking of what's next or starting to jump ahead, and we may have already lost the breath. That's fine. Just get right back to it. Anytime you lose it, you come back to it. And that is the practice of meditation. <laughs> it is not just the practice of, it's not just the state where you never think or 
are distracted. It's meditation is a practice. It's the practice of bringing your body, your body and your mind back to a single focus over and over again. Sometimes you might have to do that a million times in 10 minutes. Eventually you just have to do it a hundred times. So we're watching our breath. Mm, and as you get comfortable with your breath, just gently start pushing in and creating a little stimulation in that palm. Watch your breath. Your breath stays undisturbed. Nothing can touch it. No external stimuli can touch your breath. Your belly's relaxed, your chest is relaxed. If it feels comfortable, start giving it more pressure, more stimulation. Again, nothing affects your breath. You can start rotating your thumb a little bit, small circles. Stimulation may be increasing. Don't injure your hand, but just increase the stimulation. And nothing disturbs your breath. Nothing disturbs your inner smile your relaxed state. Good, and gently letting go of that palm and switching palms, going to the left side. Watch your breath. Gentle stimulation. And breath doesn't change. Relaxed intention doesn't change. Bring the stimulation up. Just watch your breath. Mm. Gently letting go of the stimulation. Again, watch your breath as you bring your palms down. Nothing disturbs that relaxed belly. The added bonus of choosing this point in the middle of your palms is that is a spot that opens up and releases a lot of circulation through your hands and through your forearms, but all the way up the arms, even into the lungs and the heart, all that circulation. So stimulating that actually is also really beneficial health-wise. And you might get some nice vibration in your arms and hands from that. It's a great practice to do every day really helps with hand issues and carpal tunnel and all sorts of things. So just watching your breath. Happy belly, relaxed belly. And think of how you could apply this. The same thing, can you keep your happy, relaxed belly breathing? Your nice center. If someone's upset with you, can you keep it if someone cuts you off driving? If you hear some political things? This is where we're trying to go. A place where we can be our best self in every decision we make, in every piece of information we get from the outside world and we have to weigh and differentiate be our best, most objective self. Practice this a little bit every day. It'll really grow on you. It's super helpful. Okay, thank you for joining me today. Great practice. Be sure to subscribe. Let's keep this going. We can keep practicing together. We'll do some really good things.